A couple of days ago, I was talking to one of my sisters and her name is Veronica. And we started talking about the importance of hearing and knowing God's voice. I also shared with her how that God have been dealing with me about that too. And for the last couple of months, I have been praying to God about teach me how to hear your voice and to know it's you when you're talking to me because I understand how important it is and I want to live my life in God's will and I want to be obedient. I don't want to miss any opportunities in my life because God have told me to do something, but I didn't realize it was him. I know it's very important to know the voice of God. In this video, I'm going to talk about the keys to learning God's voice, learning and knowing when God is talking to you. I'm going to share six important tips with you and make sure to watch the full video. Today, we live in a world with a lot of distractions, especially with technology, our cell phones, and we even have watches that's just like our cell phone to where if we miss a call or a text, we have on our watches so we're able to communicate with people and not miss a beat. And that can be good, but it can also be a distraction. So every so often, it's important to clear your mind to block out all the noise, all the unnecessary things in your life that you don't just have to have or do on a daily basis. Make sure in your daily life that you are spending some time with God. And sometimes Christians, we feel like that the time that we spend with God have to be at least an hour or a couple of hours. If not, it's not going to matter, but you want to be realistic. And it's not about how much time you spend with God. It's more about the quality of the time that you're spending with him. The main thing is that you want to make sure that you make God a daily habit in your life. The same way that you make sure that you eat and you drink, watch TV, put some time aside for God. It only takes a few minutes a day. One of the main ways of getting to know God's voice and to recognize when he's speaking to you is you're going to have to get to know him. You're going to have to spend some time with him. Spend time with God by reading your Bible. The Bible is God's word. So when you are reading God's word, that's how you learn about him. It helps you to stay in tune and connected with God. His word is our blueprint. So in order to understand God in his ways and what he expects from us is by reading his word. It's very important to pray and not just to pray, but to know what to pray about. One thing that I pray about constantly is I ask God to help me to pray in his will because some people pray a lot, but they pray about the wrong things. And you want to pray about things that's going to help you become a better Christian, most of all. And that's why you want to learn how to pray in the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes and it will help you to know what you should pray about. Sometimes we have hidden weaknesses in our life that we're not conscious of, and the Holy Spirit will help us to recognize that particular area in our life. So you want to pray in the Spirit and ask God to help you to pray about things that's going to help you grow as a Christian. If you want to know how to hear God's voice, ask Him to lead you. Before my mom passed, I had a conversation with her about how she was able to learn the voice of God. One thing that stood out to me about my mom is that she walked by faith. And a lot of times the things that he told her to do, most of the time people felt like that she couldn't or she shouldn't do it. But later on, it was a success. So that's how she knew that it was God's voice. But I remember asking her, I was like, Mom, how did you know that God was talking to you? How did you make these moves in your life that I know it had to be hard? And also fearful for you to just to take that step. And she told me that she learned through trial and error. She wasn't for sure if it was God speaking to her or not. But she said that she stepped out on faith. And so she told me that the more she stepped out on faith, the more she learned God's voice. 
So if you want to learn God's voice and you feel like God is speaking to you about a particular thing, one thing you're going to have to do is to step out on faith. And if it's God, you're going to know later. And if not, you also will know later. So that's one thing I have been praying to God about is to give me the courage and the faith of stepping out on faith when I feel that he's speaking to me about something. Because one thing I learned is that you can't allow fear to stop you because if you live your life by fear, you won't accomplish the thing that he is speaking to you to do. So you have to learn to move and to step out on faith. Even in the Bible, it talks about how that we should test the spirit. If you want to learn God's voice, sometime you have to be still and you have to wait and not do anything. Because with God, just because he has spoke to you to do something, it may not be the right time. In the Bible, it talks about how that there is a time and a season for everything. So God may be talking to you about a particular thing, but it doesn't mean that he want you to do it right then because it may not be the season for that to be manifested in your life yet. So sometimes he just want you to wait. And in order to wait on God, you're going to have to trust him and know that things are going to work out for your good. But you just have to learn how to wait on the Lord. Another reason why sometimes God just wants us to wait, because sometimes it's something that he wants to put inside of us before we step out there and do that particular thing that we feel that he has called us to do. But it just may not be the time. And so he wants to strengthen you. And there may be some things that you have to go through first in order for that particular thing to come to pass in your life. So you just have to be still and wait on the Lord. In the time that you are being still, sometimes God speaks to us, but he don't just tell us directly what it is that he wants us to do, but he does give us hints. And in order for you to be able to catch that hint, you're going to have to have a clear mind and to be still. Don't allow the ways of the world to distract you from your blessing. God speaks to us in many ways. It can be through a song, through an individual, through a child. And sometimes he even speaks to us in our minds. Try to pay attention and to stay alert. Because one thing about God, if you don't learn to listen to him, or learn to recognize his voice when he's speaking to you, eventually that voice is going to get lower and he's not going to talk to you as often. So you want to make sure that you pay attention. Almost at the end of 2018, God started giving me hints about this YouTube channel. First, it was through a child. Then later, my oldest daughter bought me a iPhone. And I remember playing around with the iPhone and I love the quality of the videoing. And I remember thinking, okay, you should use this for something. It came to me to start a YouTube channel. And I just thought that it was silly, that it was something in my mind. And it was something that women my age didn't do that was just for the younger generation. But weeks later, it came to me again. And one thing I have learned through past experience is that when a particular thought keeps coming to you for no reason, and it's something that's going to glorify God, you need to pay attention to it because it may be God speaking to you. And I'm glad that I listened. So I want to encourage you today to learn God's voice. Block out all the noise. Spend time with God daily. Be still. And sometimes you have to experiment through trial and error. One last note. When you pray, ask God to help you to recognize his voice when he speaks to you. Because even in the Bible, it talks about how that my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. So let God know that it's important to you to want to know his voice because you want him to lead and to guide you because you understand that you wasn't created just to do everything your own way. You was created by him for a purpose and you want to make sure that you walk in that purpose. If you enjoyed this video and if it was a blessing to you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. My goal is to build a bigger community to glorify God. And the only way I can do that is by you watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, and also leaving a comment. Thank you for tuning in. May God bless you. Bye.